afternoon, everyone. I want to show y'all what Mr. Monk's been up to lately. He's got this inside of the ball with him is a dryer sheet that was in the floor. He has gotten to where whatever he gets up next to the trash can bag or in the small cans or pieces of clothes like socks that my husband leaves in the floor and he's got to where he pulls them into the ball with him as far as they'll go curtains just whatever he gets up next to in his ball so that's his new trick and I let him out yesterday my girlfriend came over okay my girlfriend came over and we, I, I've been wanting to pet Monk Monk ever since. Um, I hand fed, uh, hand fed Monk Monk till he was about two or three months old. Whenever he got so big that I could no longer hold him, you know, securely in my hand, I started feeding him his water down milk through the bars of the cage. The little nipple fits right through there. Um, and he doesn't know how to drink water at all out of the dish or the water bottle. So several times a day, and he won't, he won't drink regular water either. I have to give him watered down S black, puppy S black, several times a day. And um, I do that through the cage. So I've not touched Monk Monk since he was about three months old. And I wanted to pet him. Um, and I wanted to interact with him. So I told my girlfriend, please come over so you can catch me, ca help me catch him if he gets away from me. So she said, well, why don't you just let him out in the garden tub put the cage in the middle of the garden tub open the door and let's see what he does oh I had the best time he it took him a few minutes to realize that it was okay to come out and then he started easing out and when he got down in the bottom of the garden tub he realized he was free, so he spread all of his toenails out as far as they would go, and his little tail was up in the air, just a twitching back and forth, back and forth. And he started prancing around with his nails clicking. And oh, I had a fit. I had a fit. I was like a new mom watching her toddler take his first steps. And I got to touch him, and I got to play with him, and I got to tickle him on his belly. I had tried to pick him up, and he rolled over, so he was on his back. So I started tickling him on his belly, and oh, and uh, we did that for like 20 minutes. And he, only thing he did, he climbed up on top of his cage and started looking around. So I got him back down off of there because he could, he can jump. Uh, several feet and I got him down off of there so that he wouldn't jump from his cage to the outside of the garden tub and um, my girlfriend had made this uh, crocheted harness for me to try to put on him well I couldn't get it on him so she decided she was going to try she couldn't get it on him either and then she started doing him like this right here with that uh, that crocheted harness and he didn't like that. He ran over there and bit her before we even knew what had happened. And, I mean, he didn't take a plug out of her or anything, but he did break the skin. So, he does not like the crocheted harness. Definitely. We threw it to the side and he never bit again. He absolutely did not like the colors or the way it was shaped. It, you know, looked kind of like a snake. Um... So, uh, that was out. Anyway, I had the best time. And I wanted to share it with you guys. And I didn't think to film it. I just, um, I don't, um, I don't remember to film a lot of things. So, I just wanted to come on and tell you about my adventure with Monk Monk yesterday. Everybody be safe. Be kind to one another. I'll see you again soon in another video. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great weekend.